we hope we to have your ears we request our delegates in any case uh, a loan from imf is not going to be a panacea for sri lanka's uh, economic predicament uh, as you are aware uh, sri lanka has gone through as many as 16 uh, arrangements with the imf in the past uh, most recently between 2016 and 2019 uh, and uh, most of these uh, uh, arrangements uh, didn't quite uh, result into uh, outcomes which were uh, uh, satisfactory uh, again uh, even though uh, sri lanka even if sri lanka gets uh, uh, substantial uh, assistance uh, from imf uh, it will need uh, support from other quarters as well uh, including from uh, india china japan usa world bank adb etc uh, there is unfortunately a donor fatigue today uh, internationally uh, the ukraine crisis has sucked uh, much of the oxygen when it comes to the readiness of the usa and western countries to extend support uh, and as uh, imf and world bank have brought out uh, recently more than 40 countries are suffering from serious debt stress and therefore uh, sri lanka's uh, predicament uh, though somewhat extreme is not unique uh, and it will be rather difficult to persuade the international community to come up with uh, sizable support uh, for sri lanka uh coming to to you know uh, uh, india's uh, response uh, to economic and political crisis in sri lanka uh, i would suggest that uh, uh, our uh, response uh, has been sure footed proactive nuanced and balanced uh, it has been part of uh, uh, what uh, commodore wasan referred to earlier uh, india's neighborhood first policy uh, as in many other situations uh, earlier we stepped in as the first responder uh, you are aware of the fact that since the beginning of this year we have provided uh, uh, support uh, uh, of worth uh, about 3.8 billion dollars through credit line currency swap arrangements uh, uh, deferment of uh, loan payment etc uh, and this doesn't include uh, uh, support which has been given by the government of tamil nadu and uh, civil society institutions in india a uh, total assistance given by india to sri lanka is in the neighborhood of 6 billion dollars and as uh, commodore washin mentioned uh, we have also rushed in uh, uh, petroleum products food medicines and other essential commodities are uh, an intervention uh, which has been well received in sri lanka while extending this kind of support Uh, we faced with one uh, critical uh, uh, policy dilemma uh, we wanted to support uh, sri lanka but at the same time we didn't want an impression to be created that we were bailing out the rajpakshas so who had obviously become very unpopular among the people of sri lanka therefore we ad- we adopted a nuanced policy uh, which was articulated uh, very clearly by official spokesperson of the ministry of external affairs of india i would like to draw your attention in particular to our uh, remarks made by by him on uh, 9th may uh, when he stated that as a close neighbor of sri lanka with historical ties india is fully supportive of sri lanka's democracy stability and economic recovery in keeping with our neighborhood first policy india will always be guided by the best interests of the people of sri lanka expressed through democratic processes uh, what i would like to highlight here is that no reference was made to the government of sri lanka we dwelt primarily on interests of the people of sri lanka and importance of uh, democratic processes uh, playing out in that country we didn't want to be seen as interfering uh, while at the same time we were prepared to uh, to step in uh, to make india the friend of first resort uh, across the political spectrum in sri lanka moving ahead uh, we need to maintain this distinction between support for the people of sri lanka 
and avoidance of over identification with any political dispensation. As I mentioned earlier, the political scene in Sri Lanka is still uh, uh, rather you know uh, difficult and uh, it's going through a period of transition. Uh, it will take some time before uh, greater stability and coherence is reached. Uh, another big question uh, that uh, uh, we need to address is how far can we go to provide emergency economic support to Sri Lanka? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, we have provided support worth uh, $3.8 billion since the beginning of this year, which is truly unprecedented. Uh, never before in the past uh, we had provided uh, that kind of support to any country uh, within such a short period of time. Uh, therefore, you know, our uh, carrying on uh, with uh, support on this scale is clearly not feasible. Our resources are limited, so we'll have to be relatively cautious when committing additional uh, finances to Sri Lanka. Uh, instead, uh, we'll have to mobilize the international community, uh, fast track uh, uh, IMF assistance, uh, try and secure uh, uh, support for Sri Lanka from uh, ADB and World Bank, and persuade the other friendly countries like uh, Japan and USA to step in. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, the, the international climate uh, for extending that kind of support uh, is not very favorable. Uh, therefore, I will have to work very closely with the Sri Lankan friends uh, to mobilize the support for the island.